G'day Leo, welcome back to TJ Tarot Down Under. I'm going to do the love energy coming towards you as at now. Let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Leo, please. Oh, I've got a flipper in there too. There we go. So this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements. Or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Cross watchers, this could be your energy. Clarify card one, please. Or if not, it will be somebody else's. So please keep that in mind, as you may not be the only one interested in Leo right now. Clarify card two, please. All the decks are pre-shuffled. And I'll list the below in the description box. Clarify card 2 in the order that I'm using them in case you are interested in what these decks are. Clarify card 3, please. Yeah, I'm a bit under the weather this week, so not feeling the best. But yeah, decided to do the reading anyway because there'll be a reading next week, but then I um, won't be able to do a reading for Easter. So I thought I'd better at least do one this week and yeah, you get one next week and then yeah, I don't think there'll be one for Easter. Alright, three more for the love energy coming towards Leo please. Also you probably noticed that the vision is better on my video. I'm just trying it out. Doing the old 1080. <laughs> It's just a matter of how long it takes for the video to load. That's why I was doing it in lower resolution. So we'll see. Clarify card 1 in row 2 please. We will see how it works out. Clarify card 2 in row 2 please. And clarify card 3 in row 2 please. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm a bit out of sorts this week, but I couldn't have two, yeah, I couldn't have you miss it out too much, too much, so, yeah, anyway, I'll survive, <laughs> healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents, okay, so they've got some family issues they need to deal with, Oh, the Devil card. And the Ten of Swords. <coughs> <coughs> wow. So they've got some toxic family here. Very toxic energy in their family. That is, yeah, and it's, yeah, it's got, they've caused a painful ending or there's going to be a painful ending. Or there's a painful ending that needs to be healed. The toxicity of... Mm, I'm feeling they've got a bit of a toxic family here that um, is causing a painful ending. Oof. Yeah. That's not good, is it? This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Ooh, so they think you're the one, Leo. Ace of Pentacles, and there could be a stable beginning here. Mmm. But I think they've got to deal with these family issues first. But yeah, they do see you as the one, that there could be a stable beginning here. Heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. The Two of Pentacles, mm. I feel there... It's a bit up in the air, they're a bit, uh, should I, shouldn't I, because... Should they have this conversation with you now? 
I think they're still trying to get themselves balanced. They're going to get themselves balanced before they can come and have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. They've got some major family issues here to deal with. That's a devil card. That's major arcana, and it's the worst card. So, yeah, that's toxic family. And the Ten of Swords. Extremely painful ending. Yeah, I think they're going to wait until they're more balanced before they speak to you about any having any heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. But I think you could be the one. There could be a stable beginning here, but it's just not the right time. All right, Leo, let's keep going. Soulmate, wow. So they see you as a soulmate. Oh, and the lovers, wow, the divine connection. Soulmate, soulmate, wow. They definitely see this as a soulmate connection. A divine counterpart. <sighs> wow. Okay. Destiny, wow. And the Ten of Wands. Yeah. <sighs> Unfortunately for them to reach that destiny of, well, possibly used, they feel that used to were destined to be together. But they're carrying this really heavy burden right now. And, yeah, unfortunately, until they can drop that burn. Not two of the worst tens here. They um yeah, their destiny's a bit on hold. And facade, wow, what's that about? The Knight of Cups. feel any actions of love towards you now would just be a lie. But, yeah, I don't think they can show you love right now, mate. I think they'd just be going through the motions because it, this is major issues with their family they've got to deal with, major issues. So trying to, they'd just be, because I don't feel that they have the capacity to show love right now. I think they're just dealing with way too much here, way too much. And, you know, just, they'd just be going through the motions. <laughs> oh, yeah, I care for you too, and blah, blah, blah. But they just, I, oh, this is making me feel even more drained than I already am. <laughs> and I'm, not, yeah, <laughs> feeling a bit drained with this <laughs> sickness that I have, but... This is making me feel even more tired. So, yeah, I just don't feel that, yeah, they and they feel they would, wouldn't be doing you justice. It would just, yeah. So it's not the right time, Dale, for this soulmate connection. Um, yeah, they've got some major stuff to deal with. They think you're the one. You're their soulmate. You're the one they're meant to be with. They're destined to be with you. But there's there's burdens that are in the way here. They've really got to sort that out first before they can. And once they're feeling more balanced, then they'll be able to have these heart to heart conversations, and they'll actually be able to show you the love. But until then, no, they miss you. Mm, they do miss you. 
Okay. They want to be with you. Alright, what would this love energy like to say to Leo, please? I now know what I lost. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. I now know what I lost. I know. I think this is relating to this toxic family issue. They now realise what they've been missing out on by putting up with this toxic family. Because I don't feel that they feel they've lost. I don't. Think, I don't feel that they feel they've lost you. And that just feels so much like all the things they've been missing out on because of the the toxic energy of that family that's held them back. Now they know all the things that they've missed out on. They're not freeing themselves with this. Wow. So yeah, I think you have to be patient here, Leo. Um, probably wouldn't hurt to stay in touch, but I wouldn't expect um, actions of love or heart-to-heart -heart conversations or anything like that right now. If anything, you could be um, a bit of a support to them. But I wouldn't... Um, just let them know that you're there. Because you're going to have to wait till they sort this out. Because that's, that's right up the front. So, yeah. And I think it, you know. Any support for so anybody who's going through that is going to need some support. So, yeah. All right. Well, that's your reading, Leo. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment. That will be awesome. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Alright, well, all the best, take care, good luck, and I'll catch you later.